So I ran into a little bit of a problem. If you have been following AI at all recently, there are some really cool things happening, specifically around OpenAI and ChatGPT. And maybe you've seen that stuff and wondered, oh my gosh, like is AI gonna replace me? Is it gonna start to be able to take photos and do creative things and all of a sudden I I'm gonna be out of a job or not gonna be able to enjoy the things that you like doing? So last night I had a little bit of a problem. We were shooting photos outside this cabin and I wanted to do some astrophotography, which I've done before in the past. Admittedly, it's not the type of photography that I'm really good at, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. I wanted to try, if you've ever seen those types of photos where they do the star trails, where they have these, uh, so if you know anything about astrophotography, the North Star, all the other stars kind of rotate around it. And if you point your camera in the right direction and do a long enough exposure, you can get these really long star trails. And so that's the type of photography that I've never done. I've done astrophotography, but I've never done star trails. So I wanted to do this new type of photography that I've never done before, but I had absolutely no idea where to start. I kind of knew what camera settings I needed, but I didn't know how long I should shoot for, like how long do I need, need to leave this photo running? Is it a time lapse? Is it multiple photos? Do I have to combine multiple photos together? So I kind of came to this conclusion that I should probably photo stack. So I should take multiple photos. In this case, I took about three or four base photos of the cabin. And then I did one single photo of the night sky. And then I did multiple photos of the night sky. But what I did, is I asked AI how to shoot that photo. And this is what it gave me. The duration of Star Trail time-lapse video depends on the desired effect. Shorter time-lapses will result in shorter star trails, while longer time-lapses will result in longer, more dramatic trails. A general rule of thumb is to shoot for at least 30 minutes to an hour to capture noticeable star trails. However, my pizza's getting cold. Depending on the location and the amount of light pollution, longer time lapses of several hours may be required to capture more distinct trails. So I actually took, I actually took AI's recommendation, pizza. And so I took AI's advice and did exactly what it said. I shot for an hour because I wanted to get as long of a star trail as I could, but I also didn't want to leave my camera outside for forever. And this is the result that I got. After you compile a hundred plus 200 photos, this is ultimately the end result. So in a sense, an AI took this photo because it told me what to do. And me, being the human photographer, was kind of just this human flesh surrogate that just pressed the buttons based on what the AI told me. That can kind of sound like a scary concept. And when it comes down to it, you might be a little bit worried that, you know, if AI just gets better and better, what am I doing as the photographer? What kind of creative things am I actually imparting on top of this photo if I let the AI tell me the settings and tell me how long to shoot for, and maybe eventually the AI robots can just plug directly into the camera and do everything and shoot all the photos for themselves. <clears throat> is this too low? Hold on. Ah. Okay, so my guess is you probably click this video for one of two reasons. One, AI is super popular right now. It's the thing that everyone's talking about. Or you're worried that somehow AI will replace you as a photographer, as a filmmaker, or as a creative. And well, you know, it might replace some aspects of what we do. You can see that based on the photo I took, 
You know, it turned out okay, but there was still a lot of human input required. There was still creative direction in the framing of the photo, in choosing this location, in choosing what lens to use, in choosing the aperture setting. Now, arguably, you could have asked AI all of those things and tried to take its input and made a complete photo shot by AI in every single aspect. But even then, along the way, there are creative things and creative decisions that you, as the human, need to be making. So personally, I'm not too worried about AI taking our jobs, whether we're creatives or photographers or any of those things. I think it actually opens up a ton of opportunities where in you know the case of last night, because I didn't know what to shoot or how exactly to put the settings and adjust everything I needed to get the photo that I wanted, it really just pointed me in the right direction. And that's really just based on all the other photographers who have shot this type of photo before me. The AI is basically just reading all of their photos and all of their videos and saying, okay, what did they do? Let's tell Anthony to do the same thing. And so yes, it's an AI robot, but at some level, there is an amount of human input into that thing that you've asked it. I don't know, I feel like AI helped me get a better result faster, but maybe there's some aspect of artificial intelligence that I'm not thinking about. If so, leave it down in the comments down below, or maybe there's a tip for astrophotography that you wanna share. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already, go ahead, hit subscribe, because it's, uh, it's starting to rain, and my butt is wet, so I'm gonna go inside. <laughs>